It wasn't supposed to be like this. There was a dark and deadly secret lurking in the charming town of Austin, Indiana, smothering hope and killing people. Deindustrialization and discrimination left our great nation vulnerable with isolated pockets of concentrated poverty and suffering. The Great Recession, social isolation, and the national opioid crisis further destabilized these rural and urban communities in crisis. Injection drug use surged. So many people were dying in a desperate attempt to quell their despair that life expectancy in places like Austin plummeted. Before anyone knew what was happening, this small, quintessential American town became the epicenter of the worst drug-fueled HIV outbreak in U.S. history. No one knew what to do, but we had to do something. The suffering people I came here to help were blamed, shamed, and marginalized. My decision to stand with them and against the forces of fear and ideology was the most difficult of my life. I faced community backlash and political resistance, but I believed that traumatized people have the same right as anyone to life, hope, and opportunity. So even against threats of violence and retribution, I refused to back down. In time, an unlikely band of battered souls emerged from Austin to stand with me and to lead the community toward recovery. This is their story. The story of hope, healing, and the resiliency of the human spirit. But the looming threat to our nation's health, wealth, and security persists. Austin is the canary in the coal mine. COVID-19 should serve as a wake-up call. Are we paying attention? Are we willing to act before it's too late?